morning everyone as i have provided you two video about the lac operon this is my third video which tells about the glucose effect in lac operon before proceeding further we will understand that how cyclic adenosine monophosphate and crp or cap protein regulate gene expression crp stands for cyclic adenosine monophosphate receptor protein or it is also known as catabolite activator protein cap first of all this crp protein binds to the promoter region in lac operon at the consensus sequence which is tgtga it will bind to promoter in dimeric form dimeric form now this allow cyclic adenosine monophosphate to bind to this crp dimer and it will lead to bending of lac operon gene at 90 degree in this way this allow rna polymerase to bind to this promoter region and this rna polymerase will proceed further and leads to the expression of lac operon gene now what is glucose effect when e coli is grown in the presence of glucose as well as in presence of lactose then this glucose inhibit the expression of lac operon gene because glucose concentration is inversely proportional to the cyclic amp protein when there is high amount of glucose concentration then there are very less concentration of cyclic adenosine monophosphate in the cytoplasm of e coli when the cyclic adenosine monophosphate is not found in the cytoplasm of bacteria then it will not able to bind to crp protein there will be no bending of lac operon gene to 90 degree and there will be not binding of rna polymerase and there will be no expression of lac gene there is found dioxy growth curve when lactose and glucose both are provided to the e coli in the media the y axis represent growth of the e coli and the x axis represent the time first of all this glucose utilization will occur in the e coli as this is depicted by this black line now the glucose is exhausted when glucose all of the glucose is consumed from the surrounding then lac operon gene will express and lactose utilization occur i will tell you different cases in which concentration of lactose and glucose are different and what effect occur on lac operon gene expression the first case is when glucose concentration is low and lactose concentration is also low when glucose concentration is low then there will be high concentration of cyclic adenosine monophosphate this cyclic adenosine monophosphate will bind to the promoter and low concentration of lactose will lead to activation of repressor and it will bind to this operator region that's why there will be low expression of lac operon gene because rna polymerase cannot proceed further because of this operator region which contains repressor protein now the second case is when glucose concentration is high and lactose concentration is low as glucose concentration is high then cyclic adenosine monophosphate concentration is low it is not able to bind to this promoter region and because of low amount of lactose the repressor is in active form and it will bind to this operator the rna polymerase in this case also cannot proceed further and there will be low expression of structure the third one case is when glucose is high in concentration and lactose is also in high concentration as glucose is in high concentration then there will be low concentration of cyclic adenosine monophosphate this cyclic adenosine monophosphate cannot bind to this promoter 
region and there will be no proper binding of lacoperon gene and RNA polymerase cannot bind properly. Because of high lactose concentration, there will be the inactivation of repressor and repressor also cannot bind to this operator region and there will be low expression of genes. The fourth one case is when glucose is in low concentration and lactose is in high concentration. When glucose is in low concentration, then cyclic adenosine monophosphate protein are found in high concentration. This cyclic adenosine monophosphate protein bind to this promoter region and it will allow proper bending of lac operon and allow RNA polymerase to bind to this promoter. And because of high amount of lactose, the repressor is found in inactive form and it cannot bind to this operator region as I have provided you detailed information about this repressor protein in my first video. Now this RNA polymerase will proceed further and lead to the high expression of structural gene. I hope you have find my video useful. Please like, subscribe and share. If anyone have any confusion, please comment in comment section. Thank you.